Hello, I'm Michael Rosen, and I'd like to read you a little section from my new book, The Incredible Adventures of Gaston Le Dog, which has been beautifully illustrated by Vivian Schwartz. Now, Gaston Le Dog loves his home in the French countryside, but he longs to visit the seaside like he did when he was young. So one day he sets off on an adventure, leaving behind his dear friend, Hirondelle, the house martin. Now remember, it's Gaston who tells the story. In the morning, the very, very, very early morning, while it was still just a bit dark, while the sun wasn't even ready to peep over the end of the field and the air was fresh, I got up to go in search of the beach. I put my head out of the barn and everything smelt new. Goodbye, dear Hirondelle, I whispered. Goodbye, dear Gaston, she said. See you soon. Yes, indeed, I said. I'll be back soon. And I trotted out the door and into the field. I glanced back over my shoulder. For a moment, I wondered whether I really should go. What if something bad happened to Hirondelle and I wasn't there to help? But the sea was calling me and I put my head and my nose in front of me and got going. I was only a few paces away from the barn when I heard a scratchy, <coughs> crinkly noise in the grass. <coughs> hey, Gaston, a voice said. Is that you? It's me, I said. Gaston Le Dog. Who's that? Me, said the voice in a snorty, snuffly sort of way. <laughs> I looked down and I could see that it was Hérisson Le Hedgehog. He snorted again. <laughs> Did you just burp? I said. No, said Hérisson. Well, <clears throat> yes. I thought so, I said. It's OK, I don't mind. <coughs> Where are you going? Hérisson asked. You're not <coughs> usually up at this time. <coughs> I'm going to the beach, I said. Hérisson snorted again. <coughs> did you just burp again? No, he said. He sounded cross this time. I did not. I snorted. It's what I do. <coughs> I snort. But it was my way of saying, the beach the beach. How do you think you're going to get to the beach? And what do you want to go there for anyway? Aren't you just fine where you are in your barn with your mates, bat, the mice, hirondelle? The beach is miles away, isn't it? <coughs> Did your snorty noise mean all that, I said? <coughs> yep, said Hérisson. Well, I said, it's just something that I have to do. Call it hunting my dream. But hey, I can't hang about here talking to you or I'll never get going. I want to get to the beach and back today so I can get back to the barn and my dear friend, Hirondelle. Mm. The beach, you say, said Hérisson. La plage. He said the word in a lovely, spongy sort of a way that made it sound all the more beautiful. La plage. It soothed me just to hear it. Yes, I said. I told you. Well, won't you be a bit lonely, Hérisson said. I paused for a moment. I hadn't thought about that. Here I was, wishing off in a rush, and being lonely just hadn't crossed my mind. I don't suppose so, I said. I mean, I don't know if I suppose so. Well, said Hérisson, I don't want to go on any kind of long journey and I certainly don't want to go to some <laughs> old beach full of sand. But if you thought you might get a bit lonely on the way, I wouldn't mind, you know, giving you a bit of <coughs> company if you wanted, if you like. <coughs> I looked at Hérisson. Hérisson looked at me. I looked at his little legs and I thought of them running along beside me. I was just about to say... It might be far, or I'm not sure that you'll be able to keep up when I looked into his eyes and I saw something. Do you know what he was saying? He was actually begging me to take him with me. He couldn't say that he really, really wanted to come because mostly he just snuffled and snorted. But I could see it. Do you know what, I said. 
It would be great if you came to the beach with me. As we walk along, we can sing songs and look out for things. Are you good at looking out for things? Oh, I'm terrific. I'm terrific at looking out for things, said Hérisson in a very excited voice. And when they're dangerous things, I roll up in a ball with all my spikes pointing outwards. And the dangerous things just give up and go away. Oh, I said, that's very useful because we might meet some dangerous things. If they're really dangerous, they might stop us from getting to the beach. Like what? asked Hérisson. Hornets, I said straight away. Oh, yes, them, said Hérisson. Frelons. Don't worry, Gaston, I'll deal with them. I felt really very good when I heard that. I was glad that I'd thought that it was a good idea to bring Hérisson along with me. What did he think that? Very well, Hérisson, allons-y, let's go. And Hérisson made his snuffly, snorty noise <coughs> and got his little legs pumping away underneath him, patter, 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 and off we went. <coughs>